Well, here in Florida, there are over 80 species of mosquitoes. You may have heard it called the state bird, right? right? With nearly a quarter of them being a public health threat because, well, they can carry several dangerous diseases. I saw a mosquito and just like the word made me itch. They are Awful. not just a nuisance to you, but to everybody around you. But we've got ways that can prevent them. In Tampa Bay's Jenny Dean joins us live this morning from Hillsborough County's Mosquito Management Headquarters uh, to break all this down. Isn't that wild? We need one of those? Yeah. Mosquito Management Headquarters. Yes. I mean, because technically we can't get rid of them. We can't really control them, so we manage them, right? That's what we're doing here at Hillsborough County today. And what do chickens have to do with this? I'm standing in front of the chicken coops, and I am with Senior Supervisor Leonard Burns holding one of these adorable little chickens. Why do you have chicken coops here? Well, we have uh, one, one coop that we draw chicken uh, blood from, and then we have a coop here where we raise our own chickens. This one's 13 weeks old, came out here. And then we've got another coop over here that has our 33 week old chickens in there. Uh, we, we raise them as well. And what, what do you draw blood? What are you looking for? We're looking for viruses that are transmitted by mosquitoes. We're talking about West Nile virus, St. Louis encephalitis, Highlands J encephalitis, and as well as uh, Eastern equine encephalitis. Any of these happening right now? Are you guys seeing anything in Hillsborough County? Yeah, this year so far, uh, Central Florida, uh, from Hillsborough County up about three counties, uh, there's quite a bit of uh, Triple E going around right now. So we're very fortunate. Uh, we've only had one bird with Triple E um, in March. And that eastern equine encephalitis affects horses specifically, right? It's not a threat to humans? It is a threat to humans. Horses get it quite quite frequently because they're out and about all the time. And a lot of people, they, they just don't uh, treat their horses. They don't give them vaccinations. But uh, humans can get it as well. So very important that we have this out here. It gives us kind of a heads up anytime these public health threats are coming, anytime mosquitoes are carrying these mosquito borne diseases. So this is why we need to do what we can to help the county manage the mosquito population. I'm going to be talking about this all morning long. Next up, we're going to take a look at the fleet and that is in about a half an hour.